Kingsman electric ring. You want to electrocute someone, you'll need a signet ring. A gentleman traditionally wears the signet on his left hand, but a Kingsman wears it on whichever hand happens to be dominant. Touch the contact behind the ring, it delivers 50,000 volts. The idea is we're gonna be wearing some sort of ring that will shock whatever you touch. All I'm gonna be using is this disposable camera. Just watch, watch the video, let's see how I do this. And go. electric shock ring. I guess we're gonna call it that. So here it is. So as you can see, a little bit bulky for a ring, but honestly definitely something you could carry around in your pocket or whatever if you don't want to wear it all the time um, and just casually slip on your finger like this. Basically we used a capacitor from a camera. Uh, we actually used the flash component from that. Um, we harvested the capacitor and mounted it to this ring. Pretty simple design. All we did was wire up the two leads off the capacitor right down here um, up to these two wires, made sure to insulate this part very much so, uh, or else you're just gonna shock your hand whenever you grab onto it. All the way up to these two uh, little bolts I glued on right here. This is one lead, this is the other, and it's just mounted on this piece of PVC pipe. This thing discharges all of its power all at once. Um, and that's where we've got this taped up unit right here. When I ripped out the camera flash module, what I did was I just cut off the capacitor um, but then to recharge it, you've got this device right here. It's pretty much just the rest of the flash circuit. So when you hold this button down, uh, it'll charge. And then you've got these two leads right here, uh, attached to more bolts to the end. Um, this used to be where the capacitor was attached, but I just extended out with some wires. All you gotta do is take this ring, touch it to the two leads, and press this momentary switch button, and it will charge the capacitor, and then you're good to go shock some ish. As Green Lantern. So the thing he is best known for is having a superpower ring that allows him to create whatever he wants pretty much, like whatever he can imagine uh, using this ring. Here's a little clip. Next lesson. A Green Lantern edition laser ring. There we go guys, we finished up the Green Lantern ring. Okay, so how do you actually turn this on? I actually soldered on a button switch on the side right here. Um, so pretty much, you have the ring on your hand, uh, when you squeeze your fingers together, uh, your middle finger, your pinky finger, whichever one the button's on the side of, uh, when you squeeze them together, the button will decompress and that turns on the laser. Just like that. But uh, I think this deserves a really cool montage. Roll clip.
So in this project, I'm going to attempt to make a freeze ring. This is going to be the most iced out ring you'll ever see. But this project is going to be super cheap to make. I like kind of doing these inexpensive projects that are super quick to make. One, because uh, if you guys actually want to try some of them, it's easier that way. Plus I'm able to put out content more regularly this way. So with that being said, let's make a freeze ring from a barbecue lighter and some PVC. Run it. So this is what I came up with guys. As you can see, we've got a ring here uh, and attached to it. We've got a tube and some wires that lead down to this kind of block of whatever tape at the moment. Again, like this part isn't the part that needs to look good guys. This part's gonna be in your hand. So uh, it just slips on your ring finger like this. We just grab this part uh, with our hand like this. So you can actually see is the ring part itself. We've got three things right here. So the first two right here are the blue LEDs and that's activated when you press down on the battery right here. So as you can see, like that, we've got the two blue LEDs. Next to it is where the actual liquid gas will come out. To shoot the ice, we just take this device. Ooh, that rhymed. Slip it on our finger and then just press down on the trigger. Guys, these rhymes are fire right now. I shouldn't say fire, I should say ice. And we press down on the trigger right here and then we can shoot out ice out of our uh, ring finger right here. Let's check this out. <laughs> guys very flexible right now but watch what happens when we go ahead and ice this thing up This one involves fire, so you probably shouldn't try it, or if you do, try it at your own risk. I am not responsible for any third degree burns that may result from you attempting stuff from this video. So yeah, don't 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 try it, just, just watch. So in a previous video, I made a freeze ring. But in this video, we're gonna be flipping it 180 degrees and turning this into a fire ring. This shouldn't be too difficult at all because actually the gas we're shooting out of this, pretty much all we have to do is just put an ignition source on the front and we should be good to go. How many more things I could build in flamethrowers to? Seems to be a theme on this channel. Whatever, flamethrower videos seem to do pretty well. So on that note, let's go build ourselves a flaming superhero ring. Here's what it looks like when it is all finished. Very similar design to the ice ring I made previously. There are some slight changes. The first one being this ignition source uh, at the top right here. All I did was I ripped apart an arc lighter. If you guys don't know what they are, pretty much electric lighters that put out a spark uh, that jumps across a gap that uh, is at the right frequency so it can light stuff on fire. Perfect for what we're doing right here. And then just for a finishing touch, I wrapped the uh, whole device in uh, some of this nylon rope um, just to kind of give it a slightly better finish than the one I made last time it's pretty much just a ball of tape um, but it's okay because this part doesn't need to look good um, it's just kind of a nice grip for your hand to rest on just like that and you hold this in the palm of your hand so fuel plus ignition equals fire from a ring look at this guys Clearly it works, let's go test this thing out.
pretty exciting video, guys. Pretty lit, if I do say so myself. I think that's the first time I made this joke in the video, so uh, I want to keep it in there. Also, Patreon, link in the description if you want any name written up there. Guys, well, another crazy over-the-top gadget that we made today, turning fiction into reality. That's a cool saying. I like that. Uh, that's it for me for today. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Deuces. I'm not afraid to